Hello everyone, my name is Lisette Vasquez Romaguero and today I will present the work entitled Spatiotemporal Motion Prediction in Free Reading Liver Scans via Recurrent Multiscale Encoder Decoder. Let's first start with a bit of context. Respiratory motion induced by free breathing is one of the major issues in abdominothoracic radiation treatment. Therefore, there is a need to compensate this motion during treatment. Over the last few years, uh, magnetic resonance imaging have emerged as an image guidance modality in radiotherapy treatment units, where in-room images can serve as surrogate to drive motion models. In order to cope with system latencies, the surrogate extrapolation is an essential step. In this work, we propose a classification-based multi-scale model for spatiotemporal 2D motion prediction. This figure shows the overall pipeline. The proposed model receives a sequence of images and can predict the sequence of encoded motion corresponding to few short time steps. Before the actual training, the first step was the label creation. Consecutive pair of images were non rigidly registered using Nifty Red. Then the displacement fields corresponding to each motion plane were quantized in five bins. We then construct a codebook to assign uh, a motion class to each one of the possible beam combinations for a total of 25 classes. Once the model is trained, we can predict future encoded motion maps. And uh, using the codebook, those motion maps can be converted back into displacement fields. The motion learning architecture is composed by a multi-scale encoder, recurrent units, and a decoder. The dark green layers in the encoder correspond to a multi-scale block which extract future representation at different resolutions. For instance, here in the, in the first pathway, without reducing the input size, whereas in the other two pathways, it is decreased up to two times using average pooling layers. The input of the convolutional layers is also enriched with features extracted in the convolution of previous scale using concatenations. After the multiscale encoder, the features are extrapolated in time by using the convolutional LSTM units and are further processed by the spatial uh, decoder to recover the desired dimensions in the form of motion levels. During the training, we use a weighted cross entropy loss function to promote class rebalancing. We follow uh, a leave one out uh, scheme. Our model was compared with the framework proposed by Luan collaborators and uh, with statistical modeling. The experiments uh, were aimed at investigating the importance of the multi-scale architecture design and uh, the effect of increasing the number of predicted frames on the overall accuracy of the model. As shown uh, here in the table one, uh, the target uh, tracking errors range between 2.07 and 3.81 for 1 and 5 predicted time step respectively, outperforming the compare approaches. The first figure shows NCC values between the predicted and target images for different predicted time steps, and we can observe that in all the compare methods, error tends to increase where more time steps are extrapolated. In the second figure, we can see vessel trajectories through time in which our method obtained the best alignment with respect to the target. Here we can see some qualitative results. Uh, in the bottom row of the first figure, we can see the overlapping between target and predicted images for one extrapolated time. Also in the animation, we can compare the spatiotemporal consistency consistency between targets and predicted images. In summary, we have proposed a model uh, which show a competitive performance. However, um, there are some limitations that should be considered. The first and most important is the inability to cope with out-of-plane out of motion. Also, since the predicted displacement fields are recovered from, from motion levels, some regularization strategies should be investigated in a future study. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the conference.